First one that I'm going to show you guys is the left-handed control stick for a Sega Master System. Solid joystick, it's still got its 1 and 2 button there. You would think, for me being a lefty, that this would be awesome, but it still really feels uh, counterintuitive. It doesn't, it's, it doesn't feel normal. I'm sure I'm going to find a game that I'll, I'll like using this joystick for, but uh, just to find this was really cool. You don't see this every day. And uh, the sad thing was, I don't know what people are trading in, if somebody had brought that basket in to donate to. Um, actually, well, to donate those uh, those paddles, because I was expecting to see a Master System somewhere, or at least some Master System games, but just this guy sitting in the basket with all the other goodies that I'll show you. Next up is something that I hadn't seen before. When I first picked this up, I knew it had to go with the Super Nintendo, just because of the coloring, the style, and obviously the pin placement at the bottom. I had this fire hanging off it. I thought it might have been um, a way to play uh, Famicom games on uh, North American Super Nintendo. Um, so I checked it out once I picked it up, and what it is, it's called a Nanotech Game Saver. So you can um, basically save your games at any spot. If you get up to like a, a tricky level or uh, a boss that's giving you trouble. So you can have save states, you can play in slow motion, you can mess with the, the video, you can mess with the audio. So what you do with this guy is it would go into your Super Nintendo and sit on the front. The wire would go back into the power supply and also it would need six AA batteries. And then you would take the regular power supply from your Super Nintendo and it would come out. And then what you would do, and this is the reason that I thought that it was a Famicom uh, converter at first, is because the Famicom games fit in there as well. I guess because it has this wide dock, but it's, from what I read, it only works with Super Nintendo carts. You plug those in, and now you can have save states, so if it's a particularly tough level, you can save your game, come back, replay it. You can also, like I said, uh, mess around if you want to play them at half speed, if it was like something uh, really challenging or if there was a lot of uh, projectiles on the screen. And also, I wanted to test, just because it feels like really, really tight. See, so, like, even that, it's, it's tough to get in there, but it does fit on the, the Model 2 Super Nintendo as well. So. Uh, picked this up for three dollars. Really cool. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it later. Uh, I know people would probably want to see some uh, footage of it, but honestly, guys, like uh, we've been trying to go more green, so I only have rechargeable batteries and they're not ready to go. But uh, yeah, the Nanotech Game Saver, made in Thailand, a uh, cool addition to the collection. So, um, buying uh, newer games, we also get the French instruction manual or booklet. And I have no use for those. Um, I use the English uh, version and I keep that inside of the case. So what I've been doing lately with all the leftover French booklets, taking out uh, some of the nicer pictures and putting them in frames. Now these are just dollar store frames, so it's not expensive to put together. And it looks nice hanging on the, the wall of the game room. Here I just cut up uh, Super Street Fighter 4. Uh, you got a picture from the Capcom vs. Marvel and then the alternate cover for the Red Dead Redemption. I just threw those into a frame. I think it looks nice. They look cool on the wall. Next up, and when I uh, checked it online to see what it was, it actually goes for uh, a couple of dollars. I saw one person trying to get $80 off of it for eBay, but I'm guessing the average price is more around uh, 30 or 40 So this is the Super Action Controller for the ColecoVision, and I do have a ColecoVision, so this is going to be fun to test out. Now, considering that this is like 25, 30 years old, it's still in good shape. Um, hold it like so. It has all different uh, colored buttons, has the joystick on top, the keypad on top of that. You can still put your overlays on it, and some kind of trackball on it. Uh, very cool. I'll have to look what uh, games it's compatible with, uh, maybe all of them. But just when I saw this thing, I knew right away, I'm like, this is something that you don't see every day. Really cool, The again, the Super Action Controller for the ColecoVision. And uh, 
I don't know, I wouldn't say rare just because it's old, but it definitely goes for a couple of dollars. I know for a fact that I have the base for this somewhere because I picked it up thinking what the heck is this until I researched it and found out what it is. I found a wireless Sega Genesis controller where it's got the uh, laser sight here. I know I have the base somewhere. Uh, two AAA battery case. Very clean this one. And I always liked the six button. This is, in my opinion, this is the way the the Genesis controller should have come out. Phenomenal for fighting games. There's a mode button up here as well. And a switch at the bottom that you can switch between first and second player. So the wireless um, Sega Genesis controller, really cool. Happy to pick this up. This next one, another one, uh, I wouldn't go out and say rare or super rare, but it definitely goes for a couple of dollars. This is the Capcom Pad Soldier. And this was the first one that I saw on top of the, the basket or the bin of controllers. And I thought that this was really cool looking. The, the way it feels, it feels like it's good for uh, a fighting game. You see the layout is put on the side where you have your left and right button put on there. So I want to try this for Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. You have, uh, there's nice molded grips here for your hand. The D-pad, the start select, and it says right there again, the Capcom Pad Soldier. Really cool looking controller. I'm going to test this guy out with Street Fighter with the fighting games. Next up on the accessory side was the Game Gear Battery Pack. This one is a little dirty, it's got some nicks on it. It's pretty heavy. It has a belt clip, so imagine walking around with this badass on uh, your belt back in the day. It has your power attachment. So I'm guessing you would just plug it into your game gear. You'd be walking around playing this big monster with this hanging off of your belt. So I already had this. I didn't pick this one up at the, the, the mom and pop thrift shop. I had uh, seen these before. And I actually remember some of my friends having them. Nobody ever wore it on their belt. They would like leave it on the table. I remember this was uh, Rainy Day Recesses back in elementary school you would see these the Game Gear was actually uh, pretty popular around here it uh, rivaled the Game Boy for a while uh, for sure it's like a weapon imagine bringing this into school now it's heavy grab another Genesis 6 button controller um, not gonna talk about this too much just this is my preference for playing uh, Sega Genesis Nice and clean, very light. I like the way it feels. It feels better than holding a Nintendo paddle. Let's not get into an argument here, guys. This is a better controller. The Nintendo was a better system. Just my opinion. Picked up two plug and plays. I'll count these as games, paddles, and accessories. This one's really cool looking. It's uh, the original Mortal Kombat. You have your buttons, your high punch and kick, your low punch and kick, your block button your directional paddle and instead of being a four they went for the full eight for your flip your move duck jump you have a start button reset uh, off and on comes with a solid case you can put a headphone jack in there and it comes with your uh, AV wires I didn't pop it open yet so I couldn't tell you what the batteries are that it takes six double a but uh, Really cool. I don't have many of these, so when I saw the logo, I picked it up right away. And you can't go wrong with $3. I think that was a good price. The second plug-and-play I picked up was the Star Wars. Uh, looks like Darth Vader. It is Darth Vader. I don't know why I said looks like. But uh, the style looks like his suit. It's got all the buttons on it, too. Off, on, pause. You have an A and a B button and a joystick. And then I don't know what this is but it pops out of the top it just says Star Wars on the back and it's a plug-and-play key it says an SW key this was in on the top uh, same deal battery pack in the back you have your AV wires on here uh, they did not come together but I want to show these two together I also grabbed right next to that bin was a Darth Vader logoed uh, headphone set looks pretty cool you got your wires here and the wires plug in unplug so uh, I'm not sure yeah they're cool but I don't know if I would be wearing these outside 
Uh, I might just give them as a gift to one of my kids in one of my classes because kids are always looking for headphones. Uh, or these might even just be like a loan out pair. The last two I picked up, uh, it's a game paddle and it says Venture on it. Um, a fast forward, a rewind button, a square and a circle, start reset. You have the directional pad. I didn't take it out of the package yet. Uh, same thing as the rest, $3. On the back, it says 25 games to play, Motor Rally, uh, Last Pinball Track, Birdie Nest, uh, Sea War, Grass Cutter, Jewel Master, Fish Catcher, uh, Elfland, GP Race. Uh, I'm not holding out uh, too much hope for this one, but uh, it is video game related. Um, I'm going to try it out. It looks like same thing like Battery Case. It's got uh, the three for your AV component cables. Uh, Venturer is the, the brand name on it. The games don't strike me as anything too cool, but you know, $3 is still video game related, right? And the last thing I picked up, uh, which I thought was pretty cool for $3 because I saw the same uh, system at one of the retro stores and they were asking $25 for it. So, uh, I checked and usually it's between 15 and 20 so what it is is an Atari paddle uh, plug-and-play set it's got the old spinning joysticks for like the pong games just an on off and a menu button uh, same thing you plug it into your TV this is your one that has the battery case in it uh, I thought it looked really cool obviously it's a plug-and-play so it's a newer model from 99 but uh, cool looking it's by Atari I'm gonna give this a try play some pong maybe play some pong against Kirby finally I get to move this damn giant dresser with the mirror it's been in here for almost two years taking up a whole wall of the game room know how much extra room I'm gonna get but I'm guessing all of this area here I can use for more storage you can see the lighting's not that great but I've got stuff all along the walls and I had to go up this way so we'll see what the finished result looks like I'm guessing this is gonna be really hard to get out because it has to be broken up into two pieces and it's wide so all of this is going to have to be moved, probably the desk, everything here will have to be moved. And then on this side, I'm going to have to move... Well, maybe not the TV, but at least this end table, everything behind the door, like this is as far as the door closes. This shelf stops it. I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem with the shelf there. I don't want to have to take the door off the hinges, but I'm going to have to get it to come out. Go through that way, there's stairs going down that way. So I'm going to have to get down around the stairs. <coughs> oh, the four day weekend coming up. I'm guessing I have to vote at least a day to all this moving and rearranging.
I'm not changing my clothes back and forth between each segment. If you've noticed by now, I'm wearing different shirts in every clip that you see. And that's only because um, as I go throughout like the week or the two weeks in between the, the pickup videos, uh, I can't leave my stuff on the side. Usually I'll pick up a couple of games here and there and I'll put them uh, on the floor or on a shelf or something. And I won't put them away into the collection until I've shown you guys, until I share the goodness. But I can't do that anymore. I can't sit on games and wait for the video so I'm just filming little segments here and there so I can play the games right away it makes sense right to play my video games anyway uh, the, the next stuff that I picked up was and I don't usually do this I don't usually pick up two but I grabbed uh, two of them because it was a good deal I got them for ten bucks for the two of them so five each I grabbed one for myself and I grabbed one for gonna see us the Kirby uh, hopefully I can get her into it. I know she likes Resident Evil movies, so maybe we can get her into the game. This is the Mercenaries, the 3D game for the 3DS. I never really heard too many uh, good or bad reviews for it. It kind of just like went right under the radar for Resident Evil games. Um, next, I picked up a couple of uh, Nintendo 64 games, so that puts me at 102. Over 100 Nintendo 64 games now. Um... Shadow Man, never played it when uh, N64 was uh, rocking and rolling, but I'm going to give it a try now. And this, guys, we all do it. I picked it up because I need it for the collection. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, picked up Shadow Man for 4 bucks. picked up uh, Wheel of Fortune for $1.99, both uh, pawn shop pickups. Uh, from that same pawn shop, a uh, new pawn store opened up, I found... Pro Wrestling, always, always a fun game. I was always a, a star man myself. I like to pick him. I picked up another Wayne Gretzky. I haven't looked at my copy in so long, haven't played it. I thought that I picked up the one of the variants, you know, where he's in the black jersey, the, the obviously the white jersey, and then I think even the label is a different color. Grab this one, some label damage. Uh, turns out it's a double, so this is going to be trade bait or tossed in with a, a Nintendo that I sell. Um, Bill and Ted, excellent adventure. Never played this game. Have to watch reviews on it to see what it's like. Um, I'm kind of like in a, a video game room transition period right now, so I don't have my Nintendo or my Rectron plugged in. So I've got the Nintendo shakes. I've been, I've been playing some 360. I picked up a, another gold cart of The Legend of Zelda. Paid 15 for it. That's about the best you can do around my parts for right now and I picked up Lemmings by Sunstuff also for 15 that's about what it's worth I picked this up because I never see Lemmings on the NES cart I have the Super Nintendo cart obviously this was a Saturday slasher from my buddies over at Microzoo um, some people are asking what the Saturday Slasher is. I mentioned it a couple of videos back, but uh, I guess if you missed it or weren't paying attention, maybe you were lost in my eyes. Uh, the Saturday Slasher is at the local video game store that I frequent. Uh, every Saturday, people can vote on what game they want um, at a reduced price. Most of the time, they're like 99 cents. So for the Vita, I got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Declassified. And this one was for $3.99. Yeah, it was $3.99. Uh, I played through the first levels. I got one trophy for it. Even on the easiest setting, the controls are hard. It feels like you're slipping around on the ice. And even when you want to aim with the, the thumbsticks, I, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's not as good as on the, the regular consoles. I'm going to say, unless you find it really cheap, guys, this is a pass. I swung by Microplay again this weekend to see if they had anything. Now, if you remember, that's the place that usually does that uh, six or seven games for 25 sometimes $30, and you can get the Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2 games. So they still didn't refill their pile, but the guy said that there is a lot of stuff coming in because um, the store that I go to there, I guess they sell a lot of those games. So another one of these uh, Microplays, these Videotrons, are going to, like um, I guess, swap inventory, so they're going to send over Blu-rays and then... He said that they're getting um, video games within the next week, so I left him my number. He said he'll call me hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, I'll be able to get over there and see if the if they got anything new. Um, anyway, what I picked up there this week was 
Red Dead Redemption now. Everyone's played this. Awesome game. If you haven't, you really need to try this. I went through this when it first came out on 360, and now that PS3 games are so cheap, I decided to pick it up again. I, I want to go through it again. It was just a really engaging story, and uh, the protagonist, John Marston, it's just it's a phenomenal game. I picked this one up for $4.99, and that's the good thing right now about, uh, I guess, these guys being technically last generation. 360 games are... I don't know, I find like still in the 10 to $15 range, but for some reason, PlayStation 3 games, I'm picking them up all over for like 5 6 bucks a pop. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, pick it up, guys. And you always got to pick them up, just because it's good to have extras. Sometimes they break, they conk out on you. Like They're like 30 years old now, guys. So um, another Nintendo paddle. Buttons feel really good, looks really clean. Uh, these are the packages that usually comes in. They only had one this time, and they had a, a bunch of Dreamcast controllers, but I have about six Dreamcast controllers right now, so I don't need another one. Left it for somebody else to pick up. I don't want to be a greedy bastard. You know what I mean? Picked up another NES Zapper. You see... I don't know if you can see. I like how high my voice got there. Should be a senior. It says uh, $6 and functional. It's written in French. The trigger is really good. It's clean. The wire looks fine picked up a lot of controllers this week and uh, my only Facebook find, uh, Facebook seems to be drying up right now for video games, I'm hoping it'll pick up soon, um, like I mentioned before, uh, around Christmas time, like the holidays, like hopefully around November people start selling their collections for uh, Christmas money, I picked this up for $8 and it was somebody like two streets over so I actually just walked over to their house, 8 bucks, uh, a little dirty but you know, it's always good to have extra 360 controllers lying around, especially since uh, playing NHL and Borderlands. Right now, my joysticks on my normal controller are, are almost finished. Like the, the the plastic coating is all being torn up. So I guess this one's the next one to be thrown in. As always, guys, thanks a lot for watching, liking, commenting. If you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button? We'll see you next week.